and I'm here to talk about brats. <gasps> Carbs! Are you trying to make me fat? You get the idea. Now eat up, or it's tweevil time for you. Mother of pink! Do you know who I am? I am Bergeen <laughs> Maxwell, the founder, the president, editor-in-chief. Of your thing <coughs> magazine and the reigning queen of fashion. So yeah, you guys heard me right. Um, I decided to do this video because I actually saw. Um, I think it was someone reposted it like a Twitter or something. I think it was like a Twitter post, and someone was saying how. Like, if there's ever a Bratz live action remake, they would love to cast Marce Martin um, as Sasha for the Bratz remake. Or um, Bratz adaption, I guess. There's no um, news that I know of in the kind of like filming industry that there is going to be a Bratz live action, re uh, live action adaption or remake or anything. But since I did saw that tweet, I decided, well, why not kind of like add my opinion onto it and so that's exactly what I did. So if you guys have ever watched kind of like uh, my Powerpuff Girls live action video, it's kind of something like that. It's my my own thoughts uh, about what direction I'd love to see done with um, kind of like the Untitled Bratz project. So it will be very similar to that video in that regard. If you're interested in my Powerpuff Girls video, um, you can go watch it as well. I don't know how interested you'd be in watching my video about the Powerpuff live action when we don't even really know any more of that live action is even going on, like, ooh. my outfit today is Bratz inspired. I'll show you guys like the cargo pants I have. And I have to tell you, I think I am a cargo pants girl. Honestly, I wish I would have had these things anytime sooner. Um, although I have to say if I was like at home maybe and I had cargo pants, I think they probably just would mysteriously end up in like the trash bin. Cause I think I did have a pair when I was a kid and that's what happened to the first pair. My mom was not a huge fan, so. So, like I said before, this whole video was inspired by someone's freaking Twitter post. And in that Twitter post, they saw Marseille Martin as Sasha. Now, I don't have Marseille Martin as one of my options for who I'd want to see in the live action. But I will tell you who those options are and I hope you guys agree with me. One of my first options for Sasha is the actress Coco Jones from Bel Air. She is the daughter of um, a very famous NFL player, I believe. But outside of that, she's also her own person, of course, and she's also a phenomenal actress. I I've seen some of Bel Air. I haven't seen it all because I was watching in one of those, you know, sites that you can watch stuff on. But um, I couldn't find that site anymore because living in the UK, the sites go down so so easily. It's so hard to watch things here if you don't have everything. And even if you have everything, you don't have everything because certain things are not even allowed in this country. Not allowed, but like aren't available in this country yet. Like Hulu. Like bruh. I had a kind of like vision in mind when I was doing kind of, when I was picking my options for actresses um, for this project in my mind. I, I had a few things I think I took into consideration. It's one, how does this actress look like as the character and two are they actually a good actress have i seen any of their work i thought about that as well and three how well would the actress i choose for one character look 
look holistically with the group all picked together. I wanted everyone to kind of look cohesive in a way. So that was kind of like my vision going into everything. But first pick, Coco Jones for Sasha. On to my next, next pick is Savannah Smith from the new Gossip Girls 2022 reboot, who plays the character Monet. One of the reasons I would love to see her cast for this project in my mind is because I feel like with Savannah Smith getting the role of Monet, Monet, I, I, I don't know. I feel like she deserves a role where she gets to shine in because Monet was not it. Like it was so obvious to everyone with like the Gossip Girl reboot that I feel like Monet should have been cast in one of, the, one of the sister, one of the sisters, one of the mains, like, or her character or of like one of the main girl's character should have be written to be more like Monet. Cause Mon Monet was just way more interesting. She was vibrant, she had personality. They just assassinated the actress basically by like not having that character involved whatsoever with their shitty writing. One of the reasons why she's a pick for me. Those are my, my two picks. I'm, I only give two picks for the main four. Also when it came to these two actresses, um, I picked them specifically for their look, obviously, because I thought they looked quite like the character Sasha. They both had dark skin. I want to be very accurate with that. Um, I know in some other renditions of the character of Sasha or the doll, she's like kind of like varying different skin tones. But I like that in the TV show, like if we're gonna redo the TV show basically, or kind of like readapt or remake what we know about Bratz from Bratz the TV show then I would go with a darker toned actress because Sasha in the TV show was darker toned. Also, there's not a lot of representation for dark toned people in general, especially dark toned women in leadership roles. Another thing with both these actresses, um, I, I felt like when I was looking for who I would pick with these roles, physically I kind of want like people who have like small, cute faces, small round cute faces, kind of like the dolls. The age bracket I obviously um, created was kind of like a bit older I, because in my mind I would love to see this project in um, kind of like set in college or at anything after high school, anything after high school. Like people have been saying for a while that they're tired of high school stuff and it's because we are, we are high, tired of things set in high school. Like younger people got stuff for them. Please set some stuff past high school age for other people. My, the next character we're gonna talk about is Yasmin. So Yasmin is Hispanic and Latina. So I, again, I want to be accurate with that. Now the picks I have for Yasmin are one, Madison Pettis. So Madison Pettis, if you don't know her, she's kind of like a child actress. She was also in the game plan with The Rock, like in the early 2000s, I think. I think that's one of her more popular movies. Um, obviously it's a family movie, so her acting in that as a child actor will be very different from um, how she is right now. If you want to see her more recent work, she was also in He's All That, which is not a great, it's, it's not great anything, but she's in it and she actually is good in it. Of course, years of effing acting and she's gorgeous. So I picked her as one of my options for the actress just to play Yasmin. Now, my second option is Alexis Lemire. I hope I said that right. I am actually not familiar with Alexis or any of her work. I haven't seen her um, acting personally. I'll see you in a couple years. So hopefully she, I didn't pick a horrible actress, but to no surprise, actually it was quite difficult for me to find Latina or, or Hispanic um, actresses, actresses, as well as Asian actresses. I don't know, well, I do know why, it's probably racism. Uh, but um, when it came to like Googling online, like looking at things uh, of like sources that would give me a list of different Hispanic or Asian actresses, uh, it was quite difficult. Some of the lists were just like totally incomplete. I looked through the list and I was like, I could think of a few people off the top of my dome right now who aren't on that list. So those lists weren't completely accurate, which wasn't helpful. It's kind of obvious to see that we definitely need way more Asian and um, Latina Hispanic representation and actresses and actors. Top, like, 
I could barely find like a, a wide array of choices in what I was and with where I was searching, which was very disappointing. But for example, for some of the other characters who are just like white and blonde hair, I could find like a hundred different actresses with blonde hair alone. And that's just so crazy to me that all the choice I have there to think of someone for this. Yeah, but that's a discussion for another day that we can definitely have, but I want to continue moving on. So next girl. Now, I know a lot of people have already kind of like fan-shipped Dove Cameron as one of the actresses for Chloe, and I have as well. I am not mad with that choice, I think it's very accurate. Like, again, physically Dove Cameron has that very like soft, small, um, kind of rounded face that looks very much like a doll. And we, we have no clue if that horrible Powerpuff Girl remake is still happening or what's gonna happen with that. Like, it's still waiting to be picked up. I think CW, the CW told them to kind of like start from fresh. But um, if she's not going to be in that, or if that's not going to happen, she can be <laughs> in my Untitled Bratz um, live action remake. Yeah, so I, one of my choices is Duff Cameron. A lot of people know her. Um, if you don't know her, she has been in Disney Descendants and I think a lot of other Disney stuff. I think. But I also have, for my second pick, Sabrina Carpenter. Sabrina Carpenter, with both girls, I feel like they have the look perfectly. Like, I feel like they, they very much look like Chloe. I don't think I have to explain it. I'll leave it up to you. You do the side by side and you tell me. But also, I think both of these girls are very like, bub like they, I've seen their acting and they've played very bubbly characters. I feel like they're both actresses of similar caliber to me um, and I think either one of them would do so well. And then for our last girl we have Jade. So for Jade I again, here are our two choices. We have one, Lana Condor. Now I don't know how some people will feel about this but I decided to throw that out anyway. So Lana Condor from To All The Boys, um, I decided to pick her for this because again, she matches the physicality, she has a sweet, soft, rounded face, um, she's the right age range for the girls, that, for the age range I'm going for with the girls, and I think she has the acting chops to do it, and I think I think she would, would be quite fun in this role. Obviously, she's already kind of well known um, to the demographic of people who would want to watch whatever this is that I'm casting for. <laughs> And then my second choice is an actress I've been seeing a lot of buzz about, I feel like kind of like in passing. And this is Chicha Kitty. And so this actress, the actress Kitty, she's from The Girl From Nowhere. I have still not seen that series yet. I'll binge it in my own personal time this summer. But I've been seeing like a lot of stir on TikTok and Instagram about her, like everyone's dying over her. For me, I think her looks match. She's obviously a good actress if everyone's buzzing about her from this TV show, from this TV series. And I know she speaks English as well. She's from Korea. Also, she could be in an English adaption with other English speaking actresses. So yeah, those actresses are my kind of like pick and options or like my casting dream for a Bratz Untitled Project remake. Now, not only did I not stop there, I also chose a few options for a couple of the other characters. Now, I've only gone on to do um, Birdine and the twins as well. I haven't kind of like casted anyone in my mind for some of the other characters of the TV show, like the boys. I think one of them is named Dylan and da 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 da. I, f I didn't make any kind of like casting um, decisions for them because I feel like if there was if there were to be a remake or a readaption of this, I'm not sure if they would necessarily be kept at all. Like there were quite minor characters in the TV show. I barely remembered them until I watched rewatched like the first episode of the TV show again. So I didn't bother to cover them in this video. Let's move on to who I have covered, Berdeen. Now for Berdeen, I have four possible choices. I have three choices that kind of like align more with how the character actually looked in the TV show, kind of like character 
accuracy, uh, the kind of actress I think who would embody the personality of Burdine Maxwell very well, at least Burdine Maxwell, as she was shown in the TV show. Three TV show accurate choices. And then I have one choice that I thought of that I think could just be fun in like a little twist of events. So let's get into that. For my first accurate choice, I have Glenn Close. Now, I feel like I don't have to explain that. So I'm not going to explain that and I'm gonna keep moving on, let's go. And my next choice is Jane Lynch. Again, I don't think I have to explain that. So we're moving on, we're moving on. My next choice is Meryl Streep. Now the issue with Meryl Streep is, again, I think she would kill this role. And I think it would be so fun to see her in another kind of like fashion um, inspired movie or fa fashion focused movie like a Bratz movie would be, or I would hope it to be, just because of like Meryl Streep and the Devil Wears Prada and that bitchy, like that bitchy attitude she had. I feel like people have been waiting for a long time to kind of see Meryl Streep uh, embody a performance the way she did that one again, kind of like that that mean person. Cause like, Meryl Streep is not someone who's really casted as that kind of person. So that was one of the reasons why it was such a good choice I feel like back then. And I feel like it would be a great choice to kind of like rethink about it and kind of like bank on the nostalgia. If you're gonna make a brat to anything, it's banking, it's already banking on nostalgia. So if we could put other elements of nostalgia into that that people would love and people would be like, hey, I know that reference. I know what you're going for here. Add it, add it. And now my last kind of like kooky off the wall choice. I wouldn't be offended if you guys don't like this one. I already said it's off the wall and it's not accurate. My last choice would be Kaylee Kiyoko. Now, hear me out. If you didn't know this, Haley Kiyoko, not Haley, Kaylee Kiyoko. Why did I say Haley? I don't know. I think I'm thinking of Haley Kiyoko. <laughs> Kaylee Kyoko. Kaylee Kyoko was actually in the freaking Bratz TV show. She did voice acting for one of the, the twins. I don't remember which one because I don't remember their names. And um, there's no reason for me to remember. And I think it would just be fun, a fun callback to bring her back as Birdine because obviously she's a bit older now. This is a live action. So she wouldn't be the right kind of age for one of the girls. But uh, it would be fun if we could bring her back as Birdine, as like kind of like a younger choice for Birdine, just like to make a change. Um, I would still keep a lot of elements of Birdine's personality but I feel like I would just adapt it a bit to kind of like do something different with Kaylee. I think that would be a fun thing to do if they ever do it. And lastly, here are my casting choices for the twins. Now, again, we have, well, again, except for the last thing we just did, we have two options, but obviously the twins are two people. So um, I have two options that are both pairs. So I have two sets. And with the twins, I did not pick people who actually look alike at all. In my mind, the twins are fraternal twins or they don't have to be twins or whatever. This is just like for whoever's gonna be the Bratz's rival in my piece of work. So I have two sets of options. The first set, because these people have to go together. The first set of actresses is Lily Rose Depp and Madeline Klein. So again, I've never seen any of Lily, um, Lily's work. I'm not familiar with her. I know people talk about her. I think she was doing modeling before acting. Tell me in the comments if she's if you've seen anything she's actually in. I, I, but I feel like even if she wasn't actually a good actress, it would still be funny because of the role. So maybe it wouldn't matter anyway. But yeah, it's I picked Lily Rose, Steph, and Madeline Klein because I feel like they both give me kind of I don't know. And I'm talking, I'm talking looks wise. I feel like they both give me young, pretty blonde, bubble face. They both have a lot of attention on them right now. And I feel like for me, they both kind of look like they would, they could pass for Nepo babies. One of them already is a Nepo baby. And for me, I think if I were to do a, a, a remake of um, Brad, yeah. So I would make the twins, I feel like, incompetent Nepo babies. They're already incompetent. But now you might as well just make them Nepo babies as well. Cause I feel like it would make the, whatever it is like socially relevant, if you could somehow tie into the plot, something like that. Because the girls are obviously all from different backgrounds, three of them having 
um, diverse ethnic backgrounds. And I don't know if you've noticed with fashion, but it's not that diverse. A lot of industries aren't, but there's been a long conversation about the lack of diversity in industries like the fashion industry and how they don't embrace people as well as how hard it is to start off in the fashion industry without connections. People say things like, well, interning and da 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 da. A lot of internships pay zero dollars and zero cents, which leaves people from diverse backgrounds who don't come from um, wealthy backgrounds. And then, and then that just leaves those people who don't have a choice because they can't afford to work for free. No opportunity to get into that industry because I don't know if you, if you, if you know this, but because of certain world events, kind of like colonialism and sometimes, you know, like just immigration in general, to be honest. So young people who come from those communities tend to have little to no options if they can't afford to work for free. Which no one should have to do anyway, to be honest. No one should have to work for free. But yeah, I thought they could be good fits as well as in a kind of a way, funny fits. And my other set of choices is literally just kind of like a funny pick for me. So I have Abigail Breslin and Billy Lord, both from Screen Queens. I don't know if you've seen Screen Queens, you know these actresses, and they're known as Chanel number no. five and number no. four, I think. But they're absolutely hilarious in Screen Queens. They act so well in that. And honestly, if you've seen Scream Queens, you know I'm literally just picking these two because they were just like the funniest bitches on the block. For that TV show, they were some of the funniest people and I would just love to see them paired together again because I think they do quite well um, bouncing off each other with like the material that they're given. So if they can perform so well in Scream Queens with that as a pair, as almost, of a, almost a duo, I think they could do the same thing in this live action whatever. <sighs> So that was my last casting choice, was frickin' frack. So we're now done. I feel like for us as the audience to get what we would want from a Bratz project, I think it would have to be, I think the safest bet would have to be a movie. Movies just have bigger budgets than TV shows do. I understand with TV shows, there's way more content, obviously, cause you're getting like episode, you're getting episodes rather than one cut thing that's gonna last an hour and a half, two hours tops. At least with episodes, even if they're 30 minutes each, you can get 10 to 12. So that's way more content, way more things to watch, way more um, use and enjoyability out of the whatever project. Fashion was a big part of the Bratz as a doll line and maybe not at and as a TV show as well, because they did have like a lot of change in outfits, they changed their hair a lot, they had jewelry, they had accessories and whatnot. And it would be probably way too expensive to kind of like maintain that with a TV show and get good fashion, good looks, the things that we'd want to actually see. So I think the best thing to do would maybe go go for a movie with it. I would hope the movie would not be too low, low budget. And for me, I don't want the vibes of a similar Bratz live action movie that has, that was made. I can sort of kind of remember that movie somewhere in like the crevice, the, the, the back of my mind somewhere, like the crevices of my brain. I think I remember that movie. And I feel like that movie was fine, but it, it didn't, what about it was a Bratz movie other than those characters being the Bratz, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to see the girls in high school. I want to see the girls looking for work, finding jobs, e either like they're in college or they're coming out of college or kind of like young 20s Bratz. We saw 17, 16 Bratz the last time we saw them. Let's leave them there, let's move on. Um, I want to see a lot of fashion, a lot of colors. I want it to be fun. Um, I want there to be drama. I want it to be for the girls. I want it to be everything we wanted for Winx that we didn't get. And another reason, bringing up Winx, another reason why I feel like it should be a movie and why I feel like with Bratz it can, it can be done well. With the thing of having something like fairies is you're gonna have to spend money on special effects or you're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way somewhere. And even if you do it the old fashioned way, you still need special effects and kind of like modern day age for it to look uh, good to modern audiences. So that presents a lot of difficulties a lot of the time with when you're uh, adapting animated things to live action is the budget, right? A lot of more budget goes into whatever you have to kind of reproduce in real life. But with Bratz, 
the plot was always really simple. The most expensive things will be the fashion, of course. And for that, that's why I think we need a movie because you can save money on everything. You can save a lot of money on everything else but the clothing. And there have been other movies that have been able to do it with like borrowing pieces from different brands who would want to have their, um, their, their fashion kind of like featured in a movie that will have, that may have a lot of hype and popularity with the people they want to um, see their things. And I feel like with a Bratz movie, there would be a lot of ways ar around it. But yeah, like I said, for me, I want something socially relevant. I want fashion, I want color. I want to see the things that girls my age, 24, would wear <laughs> on TV. Feel like, figure it out. I don't care how, but fucking do it. So guys, that has been the video. I hope you like it. I hope you come back for more. And the next video should be out pretty, pretty, pretty soon. My next video will be me ranking some of the TV shows that I've watched um, this year from January up until now. So get ready for that as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please like it and please subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what you liked, why you liked it. And if you guys have any other choices that you think would be well-deserved um, for any of these characters, please leave it down below in the comments. Also, um, again, I did skip the boys. If you guys have any idea about what could be done with those characters and who you'd want to see them as, please leave that down below in the comments as well. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe. Because I'm running wild, I ain't running free. Still got a lot of shit left to see.